Hi everyone, this guy here from Tugati.com. Today we're going to talk about Windows 8. Windows 8 is Microsoft's brand new operating system that debuts tomorrow, October the 26th, 2012. It's a pretty big deal because the user interface hasn't changed this much from one of Microsoft's operating systems to the next since probably from Windows 3.1.1 to Windows 95. So, with that being said, um, this is the start screen of Windows 8. Whenever you boot up your computer and log in, this is what you're going to see. And it's built off of a premise called Live Tiles. And you can see right now that I've got all these tiles that have information that is changing inside of them. And all of these can be set up and customized by you. And we'll just go through a few of them here. Um, we'll start with the mail application that's built into Windows 8. It's very Spartan, but it's very clean looking at the same time. Um, it allows you to set up uh, an account to either IMAP, POP, or Microsoft Exchange, which is kind of an interesting thing seeing as how Windows has kind of been tied to Outlook for Exchange integration in the past. Now this Windows Mail will allow you to get your Exchange email from your corporation. I don't think we'll see a lot of corporate customers come into Windows 8 uh, from the start because of the fact that they um, it's just it's too different. The users will will probably revolt when they see this operating system for the first time because there's no start button, there's no desktop per se. However, you can get back to the desktop at any time by moving your cursor down to the bottom right hand screen if you're using a mouse and with gestures if you're using a, a tablet or a touch screen device. I'm going to go back to the start screen here and we'll go through a couple more things. Uh, messaging is tied to your Windows Instant Messenger account. It looks basically like what you probably thought it would look like. The Metro interface, create a new message, who do you want to send it to, it opens up the people application. Um, I don't have any contacts in here right now, so it's going to be hard for me to send a message. We'll go back to the start screen. Take a look at... I'm going to save this. This is your desktop. This is what you're used to looking at right now in Windows 7. I'll save that for just a minute later. Um, I'll go into the Photos app now. Photos app is set up that it can look for your photos from your pictures library which are images that reside on the hard drive your sky drive which is Microsoft's version of cloud storage your Facebook photos your Flickr photos or if you connect a device such as a camera or a mobile phone it will pull photos from there take a quick look in here it's a nice little picture browser everything's up and out of the way uh, kinda works a lot like you see a lot of websites work with the arrows to navigate left and right. If you right click or use a gesture, uh, it gives you some more options down here. But I'm just going to back out here and go back to the start screen again. Um, Internet Explorer is really neat because it runs in full screen mode. You can see our website here, completely full screen. It's going to reload it. Scroll around. It looks like everything works pretty well. Your back button is now located here. And if you'll notice, there's no address bar, no status bar, really nothing. If you want to see that type of information, you need to use a gesture or right click if you're using a mouse. And this is where you can add tabs. So I'll click and add a tab. And I'll go to Google. Now the address bar is located at the bottom of the screen. When Google loads and you move your mouse away from it, everything just clears off and gives you a full screen view. And let's look one more time here. To close a tab, all you have to do is click the X and it goes away. It's pretty easy to use. Your settings for Internet Explorer are now listed down here. Um, you can do find on page, like if I were looking for a specific text on here, let's say I was looking for uh, wrap. 
post where we posted our epic rap battle between Romney and Obama. But uh, very interesting interface. I think people will like Internet Explorer like this. Now I'm going to move back to the start screen. I do like the weather app that comes uh, sta stock with uh, Windows 8. If you click on it and open it up full screen, you'll see that it has a really nice interface. Uh, I have noticed on some occasion though that some of these apps are kind of laggy. I am running this in a virtual environment, so it's it's not dedicated uh, operating system on this particular machine that I'm using. So some of these apps do take a minute to load. The weather one, the last time I opened it up, took quite a while, so hopefully it won't take so long. It's pulling the weather from Bing, of course, Microsoft's search engine of choice. Uh, you can come in here and you can look at different places. You can look at world weather. You can change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, depending on what you're used to. We'll go back here and look at our extended forecast. It looks like in New York it's going to rain for quite some time in the future here um, got your hourly forecast and then if you scroll over scroll slower I'll grab the bar and scroll instead of using my mouse it'll show you all kinds of different good maps it's a very nice app and while we're talking about all these different apps the next thing that I want to talk about is I would like to talk about their App Store. This is where you can go and purchase software for Windows 8. You can purchase um, apps that run in the live tiles on the front screen. And their store is it's set up basically just, just like Windows 8 is. They're trying to get everything to be a real familiar look and feel, get people used to seeing the tile interface. They've got a ton of different things in here already, and it'll just continue to grow as the operating system becomes more popular. Let's just go through and look about adding. Let's just let's add a game. Let's add Fruit Ninja. Or maybe we won't add Fruit Ninja. It's four ninety nine. And while I'm used to a lot of these things coming as trialware, it appears that on the Windows Store, something that you would expect to be free it was not free but let's look at the top free ones cut the rope I'm familiar with that one we'll give it a, a go and see what happens here it's going to ask us to log into our Microsoft account all this will operate in the background while we go on about our business doing other things and here's the new app and you can see it's in a current pending status. So this is really what uh, the interface for most people is going to look like and if you're using a traditional program that ran in the Windows 7 Windows XP style interface and you want to see that that's when you go to your desktop and you can click on that and you can see I've had a couple of Windows Explorer apps open looks pretty much like your old desktop with your taskbar at the bottom you can right click on it and get to all the same features like task manager and show the desktop like you used to the only thing that you'll notice that's really missing is the start button so there's no way to really get to your applications right from here in order to do that they want you to use this interface go to search and right here in apps you can see all the different applications that we have available currently and some scroll through that is about all I'm going to have time to show you guys today I honestly think that the average person will not like Windows 8 when they first start using it because it is so different um, your early adopters, your people who always have the latest in gear and technology, they're probably going to love it. Um, grandma who's sitting at home just sending an email and looking on Facebook, she's probably going to hate it. Um, it. It'll take her a good tutorial from somebody who knows what's going on to 
to get her where she needs to, to be. But once uh, they put the little Facebook icon on the desktop for her and she can just go right to start and click on Facebook, it's going to become really easy at that point. So I recommend that uh, you probably wait a little while before you um, get to this. It'll probably come pre-installed on any new uh, tablet PC that you buy. Microsoft's got a new one coming out called the Surface. Look for it. That's it for today. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter at Tugati and on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Tugati. And of course on our website at Tugati.com. Have a great day.